Oh. As you can tell, we all just out of it and just all that good stuff. Um, all right, but we're gonna try our best to bust this Q and A out. So first question, how do you guys come up with workouts? I say for my workouts, it's more of the push, pull, legs. So like pushing is chest, tricep, shoulders. So I mainly try to keep it over like around that. Pull, biceps, lats, back, and then legs. Sometimes like depending on like how my week goes, like maybe I'm not in the mood to work out. So I probably just do like cardio or something. And then the next time I work out, I'll be like, all right, like I gotta really push myself. I'll try to do like, maybe like a full body, just do like two sets of like every, muscle group really um if not then i'm breaking it down to like an upper body lower body split so like just upper body so like arms shoulders back chest all that good stuff and then do the legs at another time and then if not if not i'm doing like whatever and then i'm doing like other like mobility moves like plyometric stuff like box jumps or like lunges sled pushes and all that stuff how do you know like the big specific exercises because there's a lot for each of those categories yeah I've, uh i think more so just like watching youtube videos and watching stuff like that is how i pair stuff so when i'm in the gym like i know what to pair what with what like i'm not really trying to work on like something i know that's like that i worked on kind of touch on like if i'm doing like backs and stuff like that the day before i don't really want to train like biceps the next day heavy because i know like your back is kind of involved in certain bicep moves so it's, I feel like it's really just off feel. Like sometimes I just get into the gym and just see what I want to train, what's lacking, what's feeling weak, and then just go off that. Next question is, how do you deal with slash manage with cravings? Um, for me, my biggest craving is obviously like sweet things. Like these things sweet, I just crave tremendously. So with me, there's a lot of alternatives um, that I found that really helped me, such as like ice cream, for instance. Halo tops are a great alternative for ice cream if you guys have a sweet tooth. Also, I like just any sweets in general, so like muffins, things like that. There are a lot of like alternatives, guys, that are way more healthier than like all the little Debbie snacks and all the like just terrible snacks for you and stuff like that. Um, that's one way I deal with it. Also, water, believe it or not, like I drink a lot of water whenever I'm craving stuff just to like fill my belly so I won't be so I'm just satisfied in general. So that's really how I deal with cravings. Facts, I just went to the Bundy's. I feel like it's, it's really what like keeping your mind off of certain things especially with eating healthier it's like expensive and stuff like that but there's definitely alternatives like you can do kodiak cakes like you can do things that are a little bit sweeter but still healthier for you so the next one is how to balance a busy life with the gym and um like i said in my vlog that planning a healthy life vlog um that you should go watch that um yeah you just have to plan things out um i feel like everybody has busy days one way or another and it's definitely true that it's hard to get to certain things, especially like after going all day and then being really tired. But um, I say you just have to like allow yourself some days and just really push yourself other days. So like if you're going like dawn to dusk, like no break one day, maybe don't hit the gym that day, but if you find yourself for like two hours the next day, make sure that you're like getting in the gym and not making excuses. The cheat meal question, I feel like that's, I guess it would be like, how do we deal with like cheat meals or how we plan our cheat meals or how we like whatever with that. I feel like that kind of goes off the cravings. My cheat meals, like if I want a cheat meal, really I think about like two things. First, I'm thinking like how my like fitness has been throughout the week and how like my pockets is looking throughout the week. Because like <laughs> if I want to go crazy with like, like if I really like, if I want pizza, if I'm like, okay, like. My fitness has been good, but also the like my pockets not having it. I'll just make my own pizza. Like we love doing the homemade stuff, and if you see on like our Instagram, like pizza's one of the go-to because we all love pizza. It makes one like every other day. Yeah, I do it like low-key once a week. Yeah, like I at least once a week. Um, but yeah, like I yeah, so that's really for cheat meals. Like, adding I, off to what Jay said with cheat meals, um, how I do with cheat meals, like just adding off what he says, I make burgers and all these other like unhealthy foods also that like are considered unhealthy like you get from Burger King all that so like making your food guys is going to be way healthier than just buying all the Burger King and all the fast foods out there so that's how I deal with my cheat meals honestly like it still tastes as good as like all the Burger Kings and stuff like that but it's just made healthier I guess so. yeah and I guess I would say that there's no real rules to cheat meals I think before 
um, in terms of like how frequently you should have them. Um, I think like, I think before I like joined, you know, the fitness community, learned more about it, it was kind of like this conception that if you're like on a diet, one day out of the week you get to just like pig out and like have a cheat day and that's kind of like an unhealthy like all or nothing mentality and so I feel like cheat meals are a way to like um, I guess give yourself a treat like a taste of something different without like fully create like going crazy on your day so like pick a meal eat well the rest of the day and you should be fine with calorie wise pocket wise that kind of thing I completely agree with cooking. And yeah. add on yeah. no, what are you doing? I was just gonna say, like you can do so many different things with that. Facts. And just add on to what T said, like, I'll literally do a day if I'm like cooking my own food. <laughs> like if I'm not buying my food and I know the calories not gonna be like two thousand calories for like Facts. one meal, then I know I'm just gonna make my food for the rest of the day because that's my cheat day basically. So it's all it's all preference at the end of the day, it's what you wanna do. Like Yeah, no, going off that too, because I was telling T the other day, like you could like a whole pizza is literally like a whole homemade pizza can literally be a slice of a real pizza like Domino's or something like that so like if you in really want it yeah in terms of calories so you could do like two of your homemade pizzas and still be cool in like 600 700 calories that's nothing compared to if you eat out eat out is like a thousand plus calories like for sure so like that's like the minimum yes exactly <laughs> exactly exactly like eating a whole pizza you could you tackle like 2,500 calories by yourself so like definitely what everybody's saying is just be mindful, understand like it's not a cheat day and if you do want to make it a cheat day, like modify all your other meals, make them smaller meals, make them healthier and stuff like that. I think there's a, let's do a, like a nice little one, like good songs or albums to work out with, I feel like we'll all have like different things for that. I feel like for me, like a good album I'm liking, well it's all, all on context of time. So like right now, I guess it's really like, um, I'm enjoying, well, I, uh, okay. my. My go-to artist, I feel like, is like, I, I like Future when I'm working out. I like A Boogie and then some type of thug in there. And that's like really my three people when I'm like really working out, I think. No. Me, um, I switch mine up. Like, I have um, something I listen to when I'm stretching because I don't want to be all hype. I just want to you know, mellow out, make sure I'm holding my stretches, not going too fast, that kind of thing. So I listen to a lot of like R&B and just calm music, um, you know, like her, Daniel Caesar, that kind of thing. Um, oh, this album I'm really like, East Atlanta Love Letter by Black. Black. <laughs> um, the whole album is. Um, and then I guess I listen to like really upbeat stuff, rap music, something that I don't have to really think about while I'm actually either doing cardio or lifting because it just keeps you going. For me, um, I'm kind of like T, honestly, like, I like to switch it up during my workouts, stretching, I listen to something more calm just to like, you know, stretch my muscles out, get my mind right. Um, when I'm doing cardio, if I'm doing long distance cardio, sometimes I like to switch it up with some R&B, just because I like, just like R&B in general, honestly, and like low key zones me out, high key more than um, hip hop. As for working out, um, obviously it's with timing too. Right now, I'm listening to Heavy to um, some Travis Scott, his new album, um, Drip Harder. That album's hard. <laughs> and uh, artist wise, Migos, Travis Scott, uh, Future, and definitely Thug. You gotta throw Thug in it. Thug is definitely the GOAT for workouts, but that's my playlist. Right. But I didn't know we was talking about it like that, but like, so, oh, same way for me. I feel like for, for stretching, I do like podcasts sometimes where I'm like, in a YouTube video, just got it set up. And that's the same for my cardio. If it's Stairmaster, definitely a YouTube video or some type of show or movie. Treadmill, then I'm like really into hip hop. Like I'm trying to just zone out and just run and like do certain stuff like that. So yeah, it sounds good. Um, we have like two questions left. We have uh, maybe one. I think we have one. I think it's our pros and cons. All right, so our last question, we get it fairly often, but it's really like the pros and cons of running a business with like, together i feel like in the sense of me and d t's like we explained this before t's in our business but it's like it's not my business yeah i feel like with it being small we do all and in, we intermingle with like decision making because it's like whatever but like 
yeah, majority of the time when it's like stuff that needs to be talked about, like whether we're meeting with people or doing stuff like that, it's usually me and D for that. Um, so for my pros and cons, um, pros is definitely having like different influx of ideas. Did I use that right? Influx. Yeah, so like being different ideas being able to come from other people, like different people who's like creative or seen other things that I haven't seen. So that's dope. Um, that's a pro. Um, being able to like delegate work to other people so other people can do different things, like so you don't have to be like cramming trying to do everything yourself is really dope. Um, being able to talk about stuff with other people about your brand or certain things you're experiencing, I think is like bouncing out, bouncing ideas off of someone like, yo, I want to compete. Like, what you ever think about that or stuff like that? And I think that's that's lit. Um, cons definitely just like butting heads with just certain things because it's like it happens. It's a relationship. Like, we 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 always work through it. We always try to figure it out. It's just more so about compromising. And our last con is just with the adult world of just time. Like, it's just hard for us to always be together, always be able to do stuff. Like, if we're like this vlog is getting recorded right now after we've all had like a super long day type stuff and like. It is what it is, we get it done, but it's like, yeah, it is something that's like, I could do without it type stuff, so. Um, I just have, Jay really said like the cons for me, honestly. Um, a pro I add is um, just having the same mindset as like your business partner and like partners, because he's also my partner. But um, yeah, just having the same mindset as your partner, it goes a long way in the sense of like, just your vision for the brand, just your vision just in general, just with life. So like, I feel like that's a great con. Like I could talk to Jay about basically anything in life pro, in general. Pro. Oh yeah, pro. Pro, pro sorry, <laughs> sorry, pro, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, but pro, yeah, that's a big pro for me. Um, Jay said all the cons, honestly, not too many cons, but yeah, I get the picture. Do you guys feel like you make less rash decisions because it's not just one person with the power? Like I feel like, you have your own yeah. like, oh mm -hmm. i need this immediately i feel like it. i struggle with that a lot i used to I'm like i'm super impatient so half the times i'll be like oh like this is a good idea we on it blah blah, blah. and then like i'll talk to them later in the day, like oh like that didn't really work for me or like blah blah and i feel like it's more so like yeah for sure like having a business and having something else where you have to think about someone else's feelings and emotions and how they might perceive things makes sense because you could think something's good at first and then y'all go back to it and it's like uh it's good but like what about time what about effort what about like there's a lot of other variables and like if you just see this just being good like it could still harm you later on down the end so i feel like that was definitely something this business helped me with a lot too because now i'm like yeah facts i'd say I, I was the opposite of that i'd say um for me it was more so like once there was other people on board i just like kind of held back a little more in a sense like i wasn't too like yeah i had the ideas flowing in my head yeah they were like always there but it's like just saying them out loud to people just wasn't there. So like, I feel like just overall, just as time passed, like we got, well, I got better at that, honestly. Um, yeah. You wanna check the time real quick? I was just about to be like, D, just talk about your leg and anything, like, real quick, just if they could see that, just to know it's like. Ooh, there's 51 seconds left. Oh. Yeah. So I know a lot of you, <laughs> may have saw um my injury on instagram or wherever you may have saw it but um yeah i tore my achilles but um nah i tore my achilles playing ball guys um pick up basketball a um, quick story i was driving to the lane popped stopped jumped while i was still moving shot it and then instead of landing on my right leg moving right i landed on my left leg moving right so once that happened, my toe pointed like inwards and I just twisted my ankle, heard a loud pop. But um, yeah, I'm doing a lot better now. As you can see, I'm in the air cast, um, got some crutches. But um, had Sorry, my appointment today, in fact, had my appointment today. Um, obviously they told me it was ruptured and they scheduled my surgery for Thursday, actually. My first time having surgery, Nervous as hell. That's <laughs> not gonna lie. Wait, how long is this supposed to be? Like what type of like, so, like They didn't give me like a, a time frame of recovery. That's just, yeah, 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 yeah. They, didn't, they didn't really give me a time time limit of like recovery type stuff but um for pt i start pt in two weeks so after thursday of this week i believe it's like the 11th or something like that i start pt the 26th of october so that's when i'll be walking again i guess right. until then i'm just gonna be in a splint in the cast on crutches hauling around y'all see me say what's up <laughs> <laughs> wait um they got you doing like a prep for it like before like you can't eat certain things or is yeah it like yeah so um the night before 11 at, what was it thursday so wednesday night at 11 i can't eat or drink only thing i can drink is like apple juice like 
water. Like, like up till the time. Yeah, yeah, the battery's red. So. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, so. Thanks. Yeah. Facts. So just yeah, facts. thank you guys for watching. Um, Jay. Yeah. Go watch our. Well, like, if you're watching this. We're gonna be me and T is gonna be wearing the same outfit for the next vlog, so definitely keep an eye out for that one. We did a vlog, so yeah. Other than that, like I said, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow our Instagram at Live to Live. Everything's in the description. It'll be on the screen if we think about it, if we remember when we're editing. But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Peace.